hello guys my name is Akasha and in today's video I am gonna be trying the iced sh uh, grande you know what I need I need to look at the name I haven't done one of these in a while I kind of started to feel like they were a little stupid and nobody really liked watching them but also like one of my drink reviews has I think like 14,000 views so I'm like okay people seem to like it so this is the it's not showing up is because they ran out of something here so this has been out for a while I kind of wanted to try it but I was afraid I wouldn't like it so it's the ice brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso so I got here and I wasn't able to record it for you guys because I kind of forgot that I was recording I keep feeling like someone's watching me or something i haven't recorded in such a long time so i'm a little i get nervous when people watch me okay this is the drink okay so that's the drink i was gonna be like that's not my name but i wait what is this someone else's order i don't know if they just like picked up someone else's order and gave it to me oh and i asked for something specific too i asked for one sh less shot espresso i think they gave me someone they gave me someone else's order I don't even know if this is the right one now. I don't think this is the right one anymore. I guess I'm gonna drink this. It says grande shaken espresso here, but it's supposed to be the iced oat milk, iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. And she told me that they're out of oat milk to the point that it's like a, I'm gonna zoom in. She said they're out of oat milk. She said there's like a nationwide shortage going on. They didn't have oat milk, so she put almond milk and she said it would taste the exact same. I hadn't tried it before, so I wouldn't know. This is someone else's order. It's also five, or it's also 608, and this says 548 on it. So I don't think this is my order. Because I did, I asked for one less shot espresso. I don't like a lot of espresso, as you guys know. I feel like some, some people get annoyed when I do these reviews, and they're like, stop talking and just try the drink. And it's like, go somewhere else if you don't enjoy the video. Nobody is holding you hostage and making you watch, so. That's just my two cents. So I'm gonna try it now. I'm just gonna give it a little swirl. Two out of 10. Like I said, I don't like a lot of espresso, but I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. I don't like to, um, I hate going back to places and complaining or something. I'm, I don't, I don't do that. Um, even at work, there is a guy whose like reputation is always making the drinks wrong and he makes my drinks wrong and I don't, I don't say anything. I ask for ice, ice drinks, he'll make them hot, or I ask for a certain drink and he makes something completely different. And I try to say easy stuff too, cause I'm like, okay, maybe it'll work. Which I did one time, I said an easy iced drink and he ended up making it hot and I was like, if you don't like bitter drinks, it's super bitter because of the espresso. I prefer two shots instead of three, cause then it gets really bitter and I'm pretty sure this has all three. Um, so you can kind of tell just by the color of it too, but but for those of you guys who like black coffee and stuff, you'll like this, you'll enjoy this. Maybe it'll even be too sweet for you, but I prefer my drinks on the sweet side, less espresso. Um, and I kind of wanted to try the oat milk. I've never had oat milk before. I was thinking of doing like a fun video where I drink oat milk for a week because I'm someone who's very lactose intolerant, so I will get explosive if I have actual dairy which now I'm hoping they didn't put like real dairy in here because it doesn't say anywhere that it's almond milk. It doesn't say that it's only two shots of espresso or anything. So, and it says Emily who is not me. So maybe we could talk guys. I don't know what there is to talk about. This video can just be us talking. So what is your guys' like favorite Starbucks drink? Like with the customizations and everything. Cause I prefer, I prefer the iced white mocha with sweet foam on top or whipped cream on top, either one. They usually put whip, so that's the iced white mocha. And then I ask for one less shot espresso, so try that. And then I mix in the whipped cream or the sweet foam and I drink it and it's super, super, super good. So, yeah. <sighs> I haven't been filming a lot, I've been kind of stuck in a rut. I mean, I know what to film, I have a list, but like... I don't know how to get myself to do it. Like, I'm just very much not motivated to do it right now. I saw, I've seen this quote before. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I'm trying to drink this even though I don't like it. It's not so bad. Maybe I'll put like creamer in it or something and it'll be better. Oh, here it is. It says, you will never always be motivated so you must learn to be disciplined. I've been seeing this funny thing around TikTok, this audio where it's like, 
I'm the best or the most strict boss, but I'm the laziest employee. And so like, that's kind of how I feel because I set deadlines for like posting and I'm like, okay, I literally have a whole calendar of ideas that go until the end of this year. And I'm like, there is no way that these ideas are gonna get done this year. And some of them I feel like are time sensitive. Like I need to post them instead of waiting and waiting and waiting. So I'm, this is one of the videos I just wanted a fun film today. It was not on my plan list. I have a huge plan list, like I told you guys. And sometimes I film videos that were not on my list, like that I just, in the moment, I'm like, I'm gonna film that video and then I film it. So this is one of them. I just felt, I just felt like because I haven't been filming and editing that maybe I should just do something like this and get back into it. So I think I'm gonna go to my sister's place because I know she has creamer and I don't have it at home and I don't feel like going and buying it right now because your girl is broke. Like, also on another note, I got a second job. Um, I'm working at one place PRN, which means the minimum requirement for me to work is three days out of a month and a half period. So basically I would be making like $600 every month and a half if I worked the minimum, which I know for kids and stuff that sounds like a lot, but guys, if you wanna pay rent and you wanna pay bills, $600 is nothing. So I live with my parents, so it's okay. But I was like, I cannot be making this much. Like I need to make money so that I can pay for school. And I also didn't wanna go back full time at my job because it was really starting to hurt my back. I don't know if it's the way that I lift patients or because sometimes I do stuff by myself that I should be doing with two people and like it was really starting to hurt my back and my night routine was really throwing off the rest of my day-to-day -day life. Basically, I was like, okay, I need to pause and get a, do a job during the day. Yeah, so I got a second job and they bait and switched me. So they interviewed me and at the end of my interview, based on my experience and stuff, she said this is what my pay was going to be. Next thing you know, I did a second interview. They loved me. They wanted to put in an offer ASAP and suddenly the offer was lower than the original price that they said that they would be paying me hourly. And so I still took it because I thought it would be good experience. It was like an urgent care in my area. If you live here, you probably know there's only like two main urgent cares, I feel like. Um, Besides that, it's like private practices. I tried to ask if it was negotiable. I was kind of thrown off because I was like, what the hell? It was way different before. It's just the fact that they did it was kind of dirty. I felt like at least honor it if it was a mistake. The reason that they said that they did it was very baloney. They said, oh, that they reviewed my resume and also that's the Northern Virginia pay. Girl, we was in Northern Virginia the first time we did the interview. Like, all of us live in Northern Virginia. Why wouldn't you just state what the original pay was at the first interview unless it was to entice me to work there? And I worked there for like three days and then I interviewed somewhere else um, that was gonna pay more, but they're actually paying me less because I have no experience doing it. But I think it'll be cool. It'll be cool to learn at least something new and it'll be less stress for me because one, it'll be during the day. Two, I'll get weekends off. So if I wanna pick up at the hospital, which I have been doing this month, I'll get to work um, at the hospital on the weekends and at this job during the, the week because I'll be full time. And three, you know, I get more experience doing other stuff and it's not breaking my back not keeping me up at night i don't know i don't have to freak out about somebody coding on the table hopefully i feel like this is so hard to like a conversation with my camera because i keep forgetting what i was talking about and then i have to like go back so this is so weird guys but i had a dream recently that like a couple weeks back that i was at work and i was cleaning a dead body and i was zipping the body bag and when i got to the top it was my uncle and I told my mom about the stream and I told my coworker and everything and we all kind of like laughed it off and we're like, yeah, like weird, you know, like weird dreams, da da da. We like some people feel like it's a sign and stuff and I felt like it was kind of like a sign to me. And that's why I told my mom and she was like, no, that means that your uncle has long life. Well, a week later, she has a weird dream about my um, grandma on my dad's side getting taken out of the grave and they were like rewashing her body and putting it back and my mom told me that it was a bad sign and that something bad was about to happen somebody was going to pass away on my dad's side and when i had the dream the uncle i saw was on my dad's side and so after that like a week later one of my uncles passed away and he looked identical to the one that i dreamt about because two of them look very very similar like strikingly similar and so i thought the one that i saw in my dream was like 
the one that lives here because this one lives overseas so they live in separate areas so I thought it was him and it ended up being the other one who passed which I still think like I don't know I guess you could say it was coincidence but I just thought it was crazy that I dreamt that and then it actually happened and it was really un unexpected he was like in his 60s so let me drive to my sister's now also I got this cute tote bag I kind of want to show you guys it I started to part my hair in the middle when I was at my other job that I worked at for like three days. Here's the cute tote bag I was talking about. I'm just, oh my god, I swear to god. I don't know if I have ADHD or something, but anyways, started parting my hair in the middle. Um, maybe I should start doing that again. Okay, let's get out of here. Excuse me. I feel like I'm gonna keep that in because we, 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 we need to be closer. We need to be one. We're family, so... And that is why I told you guys that I'm lactose intolerant. Because it's embarrassing. I'm not even going to lie. Like, if I have milk, if I have ice cream, then I know that I am going to have to explode within the next hour or two. People don't know how to drive here. She was breaking the law back there. Okay, remember how I said I needed a dash cam in my last video? I really, really need a dash cam now. Maybe I'll spend a little bit of my tax return. I still have not gotten it. I sent it through mail because I kind of messed up on one of the forms um, doing it through Turbo, but I did my dad's, uh, what's it called, electronically, and he already got his back, and I did mine. What are we waiting for? Two people just went around me and this person in front of me because they're just sitting there when they can go, but there's a cop here like that just pulled in, so I don't want to do that. Ooh, there's another one. Oh my god, wait, there's another one. Whoa, 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 there's another one. What the fuck is going on? Do you guys see him? That was weird. That was suspicious. Definitely think I need a dash cam of some sort. I'm gonna go to my sister's place and put some creamer in this. Guys, this song is so good. I'm gonna make you guys listen. I have like a very vast music taste, so I will listen to so many things, but I am loving this song. Sometimes all I think about is you. Love this song. Remember, it's about to die. It's not about to die. It's about to just turn off because of the heat levels. All right, my drink, my phone my tote bag so I only came here for one reason okay. yeah okay I'm only here for one reason huh? and it's to steal your creamer <laughs> the one in your fridge yeah you do I saw it last time I was here yeah you threw it away the damn creamer yeah, it was right there. Yeah, it was from Walmart. Look, she wants some. I'm gonna show you guys something. You like it? She don't like it. Do you like it? Yes. No, you don't. Do it. Chocolate. It's not chocolate. <laughs> It ain't chocolate. Not chocolate. No. What is she doing? Oh no. Let's put that down. Oh, it's Mickey. Mickey. Her name is Mickey, right? No, Minnie. Minnie. The hell are you doing here? Perfect timing, ain't it? Hello. <sighs> she didn't have the creamer. Now we're gonna go get chicken sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, butler. Here I am. Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize, and then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I would feel like, like a kidnapper, you're just looking at me like, uh, no. Sometimes all I think about is you.